hello, you beautiful, extraordinary humans. Uh, how are you when you join? Let me know. I'm just sharing this to a page. So just give me a moment. Um, yay, we're shared. We're here. My name is Colleen Gallagher, if you don't know me. Um, and super excited to be on here and be present with you um, for this live because I have made a commitment to myself definitely this year but to share a lot more stories that I've been going through and showing up on here for all of you um, who are wanting to live a life of freedom who are wanting to create your dreams but maybe you just don't know how to do it so so I guess what I do is I do a lot of different things. Oh, and when you join, say hello. Let me know where you're in from. And if you're watching on the replay, hashtag replay, let me know. Um, but this live is all going to be about just how to overcome the fear of failure, how to overcome that fear of not knowing what's coming, what's on the other side of what exists for you. And I wanted to, to make this live because I remember the story I wanted to share with you when I was leaving, actually. Michigan State University when I graduated and college. And I was like, I'm moving to Houston, Texas. I'd never lived there. I had no friends. I had no idea like how I was gonna make it work, but I was super excited just to be traveling and living a beautiful life. Well, I remember this was fine. I did the same thing when I moved to Maryland. I, I got up with my job. I moved to Maryland, didn't know a single soul. And then I realized that I was still living a job that I hated. I was living a life that I felt like, even though it was successful on the outside, I was making $100,000. Um, I was traveling. I was, you know, had great friends. I was going out all the time, but inside, like, my soul was, like, dead. And that's why I wanted to talk about the fear of failing, because I think a lot of times we have to define first what failure actually is. So you can look at many people. It doesn't matter who it is. And you could see that, hey, Brian. Um, I think that you could look at a lot of people and you could see that they have a lot of things in the world, right? They have a house, they have a car, but that doesn't mean that they're winning. That doesn't mean that they're successful. However, why that if you were on this live, probably that you're here is that you're someone who's been challenged to really take the next step in your life. You've really been fearful of if you invest time, energy, and money, let's say into personal development, or you invest time, energy, and money to move across the world, which is what I did to New Zealand, where I didn't know a single person in New Zealand. I was giving up my job, but I did it because I had a knowing in my heart that I was meant to travel the world, and I was meant to experience different people and different things. Then you have to overcome that fear because I had a huge fear of failure. I was remember having anxiety attacks. I remember like not being able to breathe. I remember having all of these thoughts going on my mind of what was going to happen if I left my job and it didn't work out. I had all of these ideas going on in my mind. And so what I wanted to share with you is how to overcome this fear of failure, how to overcome these thoughts going on in your head of if I take this next step, if I put X amount of money, towards a new project. If I put X amount of money into developing my spiritual practices, if I put X amount of money into developing whatever that it is, how am I guaranteed that it's going to work? If I bet on my dreams, how do I know it's going to work? And I think that's the wrong question to ask yourself because a better question to ask yourself is, do you desire to live with freedom? Do you desire to live with joy? Do you desire to live with fruition. I, mean, I don't know. Do you desire to live with all the beautiful things that life can give you? And the moment you say yes to that, yes, I desire to live with all the beautiful things life can give to me. Yes, I desire to live with all of the joys that life has. The moment you choose to say yes to that, you choose to overcome failure because you just said yes to living and feeling good. Then instead of choosing to say yes to being afraid of failure, so I'm never going to take action. And so I wanted to come on and share this with you because I, one thing I've heard a lot of, of people being so fearful of taking that next step, because if I take that, there's no guarantee my dreams are going to come true. But the reality is if you were to truly die tomorrow, if you were maybe going to get your, you were maybe going to get in an accident or someone, you know, was going to love, like, would you 
you always want to ask yourself, if I didn't do this, what would happen? If I didn't take the action on making that my dream, if I didn't say yes to that podcast, or if I didn't say yes to speaking at an event, or if I didn't say yes to spending my last dollar to investing in something that's going to allow me to understand there's more knowledge out there, there's something greater for me out there, what would happen? Like, what, how would I feel about that? Would I regret that instead of being so afraid of failing? And so you want to continuously go in that place where you're asking yourself, what can I do to get out of the fear of failure and step into the moment of taking courageous action? And when you start to go from fear of failing to I'm going to take courageous action and trust my dreams and have a knowing and a faith, everything around you sporadically, I mean, miraculously gets better. The moment that you choose to say, I'm no longer afraid of failing, yet I'm going to embrace my dreams and on the path and on the journey of creating my dreams, I'm probably going to fail. I'm okay with that. There's going to be bumps in the road, but I'm never going to have to live a life with regret. And I think that's the question in the dialogue. I know for myself, that's really transformed my life. I'm going from a corporation or working from, you know, a fortune 100 corporation to traveling the world. I mean, you definitely fail. And if you have a fear of failure, your failures are only going to get larger the more successful that you become, but that's part of the journey and that's part of the process. And so continuously asking yourself, wouldn't I rather try and fail than to have never tried at all? And even if I tried, it's not really a failure because it's just going to lead me down another avenue to more knowledge, to other opportunities, to more experiences that I can't possibly have right now because I'm stuck doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. So definitely challenge yourself to change your perception and your thinking of having a fear of failure to having a fear of not living. Uh, change your things on that and just see what action steps you take different daily every day. So I wanted to come on and share that with you. Don't be afraid of failing. Take the action to live your truth. Take the action to be an extraordinary human being. And um, definitely please reach out if this resonates with you and you wanna take action to get into a different environment, I have a free webinar, where in this free webinar, I tell you three steps and how you can gain clarity in order to start living your truth, in order to really create a life beyond your wildest dreams, and in order to realize that rejection is just an illusion, because if you were truly being true to you, and you were truly being true to the expression of what you're meant to do on this planet, from God, source, universe, whatever you wanna call it, you would never be afraid to take action on doing what your soul is meant to do because you would know that you could only rise. So anyway, I'm super excited to be here. Thank you for watching this. Let me know if it served you. And also, if you want that webinar, please comment below mindset and I will send you the webinar that goes through those three steps. So anyway, have a beautiful day.